Welcome to the Jaron Jarvis channel. I am Jaron Jarvis. Today, I would like to introduce to you, I woke up to my baby staring at me. I woke up with a jolt. The room was cold. Dark. I could barely make out the outline of James's crib across the room, or the rocking chair in the corner. I rubbed my eyes, yawned, and turned on my phone. 3.47 a.m. Great. It would only be two hours, or less, until James was getting up and ready to start his day. Parenting was hard enough, it was even harder since my husband, Derek, passed away. I sighed and put my phone back against the mattress. My eyes fell on the crib. James's eyes were open. He's still silent. Just lying there, in the darkness, watching me. Is he okay? For a second, my mom brain went to terrible places, oh my god, he's dead, he's dead. I got out bed. Ran over to him. Pressed my hand against his belly, feeling for his breaths. I sighed in relief, he was fine. I picked him up and sat in the rocking chair. As usual, he snuggled against my chest, nuzzling his head against my shoulder. A few minutes later, I looked at his eyes, they were closed. He was asleep. I went back to bed and, in a few minutes, so was I. 4.25 a.m. I jolted awake, again. A thin sweat coated my forehead, my arms, despite the chill in the room. My arms and legs felt itchy, scratchy, tingly, as if something had been poking at them. I pulled off the covers and sat up, a terrible feeling in the pit of my stomach. James was watching me. He was standing up in the crib, his pudgy hands curled around the railing. Still. Silent. You know how unnatural it is to see a one-year-old baby like that. They're always moving, always making noise. It unnerved me, to be honest. I got out of bed. James? I said softly. You okay, buddy? He didn't look at me. He just kept his eyes fixed on the bed, where I had been sleeping. And now, he was smiling. I picked him up, held him, rocked him. As he lay in my arms, warm and still, he began to babble. Da da da, he said. Da 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 da. My heart sunk a bit. No, not da da, I said. Mama. Da 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 da. Still grinning. I sighed. This better not be one of those nights. The rare nights where he wakes up in the middle of the night, and decides he wants to play for an hour before going back to sleep. Better than him screaming, though, I suppose. I began to sing a lullaby, lullaby, and good night, go to sleep now little James. As soon as I began singing, a flicker of motion caught my eye. From the bed. I glanced up. The comforter was furled and tangled in a misshapen lump. The pillow was wedged up in the corner. The bed was a mess of twisted shadows, and I could barely make out what was what. Must have been my imagination, I thought. But then, just for a second, I saw a large form lying in the bed. A dark shadow, stretching the length of the mattress, almost humanoid. I jumped back, holding James tight in my arms, Derek. I said, in a shaky voice. No. The bed was empty, Dada. James babbled again, smiling wide.